All right. So this is the last video in the series on ionic bonds for that lecture. And we're going to talk about properties of ionic compounds here. So ionic compounds have really strong bonds, and that's because of that crystal structure that they're in. So they're really locked in place, because remember they've exchanged, sodium's given the chloride its electron, um, but because they have charges, they're really attached to each other, they don't want to leave each other's side. Um, and so this leads to several properties for ionic compounds. For one, they're usually, they're going to be found as solids. Um, I don't really know of a liquid that's a crystal structure. Um, because of this, they're also going to have high melting and boiling points. So that means that we're not going to see, say, salt melt until like thousands of degrees Celsius. Um, so it takes a lot of heat energy to make those molecules start moving and be away from each other. Uh, they are also non-volatile. This means that they're not going to go from liquid to gas easily. Um, and when we talk about covalent bonds, you'll see the difference there. So right, well, or, so like your water eventually it's going to evaporate, right? It just goes up into the air um, while your salt crystal on your table isn't going to. Um, so they're non-volatile there. Um, we talked about um, this a bit when we talked about thermodynamics and states of matter. Um, so why are ions important? Um, we're just not learning about them because they're part of chemistry. They are important to everyday life. Um, now, so one thing that's really cool with them is when dissolved into water, they become electrolytes. And the reason they're called that um, is because they allow water to conduct electricity. They're able to conduct electricity when in water because the charge is now free to move around to help move electrons around and conduct current. We'll talk about why in water um, the ions are free in a moment. Um, we often call ionic compounds salts because of this. So mostly we call um, sodium chloride salt, um, but they're all technically salts to us as long as they dissolve into water. Now, the reason why they're able to dissolve into water is because water is a special molecule. Water is able to pull ions apart and keep them apart. The reason why they're able to do this is because, um, and we'll talk about, we talked about it a little bit um, in the last lecture, um, and we'll talk about it a lot more next unit, but these hydrogens are going to have a partial charge to them, and then you're going to be partially positive. And oxygen is going to be partially negative. So it's able to pull these ions away from each other. Um, so that way they're dissolving into water. Um, yeah, so leave room for Jesus, like a chaperone. Um, so this is why many ionic compounds, when they're dissolved, um, or they're going to dissolve easily into water because of those charges and the partial charges on the oxygen. Um, now, if water's removed, so say you have your glass of water and you just leave it out for a week, um, the water disappears and you should notice that a crystal film forms. That's the salt crystal reforming um, in the, in your, at the bottom of your glass. Now, salt is also really important to our health um, because it keeps our nervous system and heart functioning. Um, so you can see here, um, this is called a sodium potassium pump and it's how when when we do this so, so potassium's coming into the cell sodium's leaving because this is going to force um a difference in concentration and if you recall from your bio class um when we have a difference in concentration we're going to see osmosis or diffusion occur and that diffusion then is going to result in um uh, some reactivity in the body depending on what we want to see happen. So salt's really vital to that. We mostly get salt through our diet. Um, now, some people get too much salt, um, and this can lead to high blood pressure, um, which can lead to heart attack and strokes. Um, for the most part, if you eat a, what I call like a real food diet, so not a lot of processed foods, you don't really have to worry about too much salt. Um, when I was younger, I ate very strictly uh, no processed foods and I got really nervous about salt because you're always hearing in the media like salt's so bad for you, salt causes bloating, salt causes this and that. Um, and so I really cut back on my salt and I started having vertigo issues and low blood pressure issues. So if you don't eat a lot of processed foods, put salt on your food, please. Um, otherwise, it can that can also lead to um, 
like not good health. Um, salt is also really important for athletes to allow for proper muscle contraction, right? They're, um, the way, the way muscles contract is by using this like difference in salt concentrations, um, between the cell and the outside of the cell. Um, so this is why like things like Gatorade have electrolytes. Um, it's providing salt. If you, um, Say you get the stomach flu and you get really sick, having coconut water or broth helps a lot because you're bringing those salt levels back. Um, a lot of people don't realize this, but if you're really dehydrated, so say you go on like a hike and you don't bring enough water and you get back to your car and you try to chug down water, you might feel kind of sick because your body can't absorb that water as well without the salt because you have an electrolyte imbalance now from all the sweat and everything. Um, since... Um, if you're one of my students, you're probably a girl. If you're watching this from outside, just as a little tidbit, um, magnesium is a really important um, mineral to get, uh, and we get it through our diet, but you can also supplement with it. Um, and magnesium is really important for like stress, sleep, and muscles as well. Um, so if you ever find that you um, get really bad period cramps or you get really stressed out or you can't sleep, taking some magnesium can help a lot with those issues. Um, this is also why Epsom salt baths are so wonderful is the magnesium ion can actually um, be absorbed into your skin because it's a semi-permeable membrane um, and help relax your muscles um, along with, you know, just baths are relaxing. Um, so salts are really critical um, and really helpful and knowing how to utilize them can make a big difference for us.